So to catch up from last time, there is a monster who currently has Robins, and I can't get past him. If I go there, it's lunchtime. His lunch. I tinkered around in that room, couldn't really make any progress there, so... Where'd the captions go? Uh... Yeah, that might turn them back on. So let's uh, look around a little bit. can't use these two things together. I'm hoping I can find Brink again at some point, but I haven't seen him in a long time. I think he went evil on me. There was a- wait. There was a path over there that I never saw? What are you doing here, Lo? I don't want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. I genuinely had no idea that that was there. What I'm doing here is important. I thought to myself coming off of that light bridge, wouldn't it be weird if I had missed a path to the right here? You're the tough guy, Lo. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. What do you think you are doing? Go away. I can't be any clearer. What kind of contraption has Brink made here? What kind of contraption has Brink made here? Brink. There's got to be a way to get rid of that monster once and for all. He didn't say anything. Frank, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead, they probably have a good reason when they choose to bury somebody instead of reviving him. Now leave me alone. The map shows a passage under that tomb I found. There must be something important down there. Maggie's in trouble. 
She's trapped, and we need to save her before she becomes dinner for some hideous creature. I'm sorry to hear of this. I will miss Maggie a great deal. <laughs> I'm worried that these life crystals may have side effects. The only side effect is the envy of people who haven't used them. Have you used more of them? Their effect on health and intelligence increases with each use. What about their effect on sanity? These life crystals are the most important technology ever created. They are the answer to everything. Conveniently not answering the question, buddy. Bat creatures up here. The bat things are up on the ceiling. What do I have that can reach clear up there? Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No! Go away! What was that scream? Okay, now where did he go? I mean, con the most convenient thing would be if he just headed straight to Maggie for me. So, let me just go there and... I mean, that would be the most convenient thing for me. It's not here. Thought this might be another place he might go. Okay, so where the fuck did he go? It's gonna be a long game of find Brink and then he runs somewhere new and then find Brink again and he runs somewhere new. Happy impending year. I hope the year that's impending is a good one for you. Can we beat Dig before gone to the museum. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, maybe he went back here? I kind of expected to run into him here now that I think about it. It's not over here. Is there any other paths around here that I missed? Doesn't seem like it.
All right, Brink, where'd you go, you fricker? What have I done today? In the dig? Oh, uh, I found Brink. That's it. Get away from there! Don't meddle with my work. The only work you're doing is feeding an addiction. An addiction? I'm addicted to learning, to knowledge, to great mental achievements. Get a grip on yourself, Brink. Well, I found Brink again. Guess what? He's still a jackass. Come on, guys. What kind of contraption has Brink made here? The shovel is useless here. I can't use these two things together. I want to destroy the crystals? Get away from there! It's not obvious to me what I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe I'm missing something. Come on, guys. Let's... Is there anything else to interact with here? He runs off. I think I'm... S I, my guess is that I'm supposed to get rid of his crystal stash. What kind of contraption has Brink made here? What kind of contraption has Brink made here? I don't want to damage the mechanism. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. Get away from there! you're doing come on guys. I mean this is clearly something I'm supposed to do the bad bad things are up on the ceiling do I shine on them again It's amazing how parallel evolution on two different worlds made bats look completely weird and disgusting in both places. What kind of contraption has Brink made here?
Can I find him somewhere? Like, where might he be hiding? Is he... Did he go down... Here? Brink, you out here talking to my friend? kind of fun to disturb these bat things and make them fly around. But doing that over and over doesn't seem to be leading to a solution. What do I have that would work on this crystal stash? Get away from there! Can I just hit him over the head with a shovel or something? Don't meddle with my work. The only work you're doing is feeding an addiction. An addiction? I'm addicted to learning, to knowledge, to great mental achievements. Get a grip on yourself, Brink. It won't accomplish anything. That could be a really bad idea. No, give him more. See what he thinks. Brink. What's the project you're working on here? You're not a scientist. There's no way you could understand okay. it. Okay, kind of a jackass answer if you think oh, about I it. Get it. I can figure out alien technologies, turn the power on, work the tram system, adjust the light bridge lenses, repair broken door control panels, and even resurrect one dead scientist. But no, I'd never understand your work. I know you mean well, Commander Lowe, but I'm not working at the level of ordinary human beings right now. What should we do about Maggie? You go look for her, I stay here and work. These light bridges link the spires. It's a lot faster than using the trams. I'm so happy for you. Maggie was on the brink of telling me what the inscriptions in the library meant. Do you understand what that means? Yes, you'll be able to borrow alien science fiction novels from the library and entertain yourself. You really don't care about anything but yourself, do you? 
I care about something much more important than all our paltry selves. Brank, I'm worried about your health. Don't be. I've never felt better. Your behavior isn't rational. What do you know about my behavior? What do you know about my rationality? No one has ever been healthier or more rational than I am right now. Get your priorities straight. We're talking about Maggie's life here. Okay. Okay. What do you know about life? And if she's killed, so what? We just bring her back better than ever. Never mind. Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. You thief! Give those back! I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste it. I was just supposed to do it faster. Task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? I played Broken Sword? No, I don't know what that is. Robin. Maggie, I'll try to think of something to free you. Don't take too long. I think that thing likes me. Thanks. If I go there, it's lunchtime. His lunchtime. Who's lunchtime? Brink. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, Brink. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus-brained, furry-legged abductor of luminously intelligent but corporatudinous earth women. I don't like Brink. No, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Boston? Where are you going? See ya. I'm over here. Don't leave me. Thank you. I know you mean it. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Was that option there before to push that rock? Because I didn't intentionally push that rock just now, and I swear that that was not an option before. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. 
Well, instead, the monsters got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. That hideous monster has burnt tree. Brink. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Do you have a better one? <coughs> Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. That's true. We can bring her back. <clears throat> Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon-eating lobster face, cave-dwelling, arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff, Brink. about your I was joking Boston you know like you strong manly types do when you just about get killed <coughs> Maggie's safe now give me my toys back satisfied our little deal so give me my crystals and let me get back to work Brink it's time for us to work together on I said give them to me Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. You stole all my crystals. I had some of those. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library <clears throat> console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Robbins. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna take her to go see the... the alien.
Oh, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any jelly beans, do I? Oh, I'm all out. I got those at the museum. It won't accomplish it. Here's where my alien education either pays off, or we die. Die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Backlash Park. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. Speak. Oh, it's just gonna auto-translate for us now? Um... Why is this inscription in another kind of writing? I did not write it. I would not have written it. The metal plates we found... What are they? They are authority... and power. Each shape has a meaning. And when they are fitted together, they have a new meaning. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead can debase the living. Okay, good talk. The language of the library was a great achievement. It was so clear and surprisingly easy to learn. The greater the idea, the simpler and clearer the language needed to express it. Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. Ooh, tell me about the first worst mistake you've ever made. I can read it, but the meaning isn't clear. It speaks of something hidden. It was the first achievement on the road to my greatest error. Ooh. The one that condemned my people. That's the one I wanted to find out about. If we put the control plates in the triangle, what will happen? You will open the door to beauty without boundaries. And to trouble without end. What are the ghosts we saw? Are they alive? My people all travel to the realm of space-time six. Where three dimensions of time join to the three dimensions of space. It is indescribably beautiful. 
but they can build nothing there. They can create nothing, they just exist. On and on with empty lives and hearts that long for this hard and stony world. The ghosts are your people, then. Their connection to this world is so slight. They can disturb the energy in the air. They can make themselves visible for a few moments. But they can't build anything here. They will live forever. But it is not life. Is it impossible for your people to come back? It takes enormous strength of will to leave that place and come back to this one. They have all tried. They have all failed. And now they have been away too long. They have lost the physical memory of how to live here in space-time 4. Why did the ghost lead us to you? Some of them foolishly hope that if I help you open the gateway again, you might have the strength to lead them home, to let them remake their bodies here. But I am sure that all that would happen is you, too, would be lost in space-time 6. Oh, I don't want to go to space time Who six. Are you, honored one? The bringer of misfortune. Hell yeah. Please tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes, the creator who uncreates. And yet, I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys, the dangerous one who protects. The creatures who live here now. Did you people know of them, or did they come later? Millions of years have passed since then. What once were pets or companions have followed their own evolutionary paths. They have become as beautiful or as terrible, as clever or as stupid as it was in them to be. Speak plainly. Tell us who you are. Once, I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, their decaying world. They are lost. And cannot return. Bummer. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? We are not helpful. My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes, and then I fall again. Soon, I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my <laughs> grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. Alright, well I'm just gonna call you Steve. The map helped us find you. Did you create it? It was created by those who now wish only to find themselves. The monster who captured me. Are there any more of them? That one did not evolve. It was made. And there are as many of them as are needed. N not answering the question, my man. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. Why has your body been preserved so carefully? Since all the evil in this place was my fault, I chose to be its guardian forever. If what you did was bad, why did the museum displays give you so much honor? There was a time when my creations were thought to be good. I believed it myself, or I would never have created them. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. We want to go home. 
That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish, for there is no true home. All intelligence wanders and has no rest. Damn. The probe you sent out brought us here. We want to go back to our home planet. Another one of our terrible mistakes. We sent out those probes when we thought we had found the glorious secrets of the universe. We could not call them back. Thus, I remain here to warn all those who come in answer to an invitation we wish we had not sent. Warning us won't do any good unless we can get back home to Earth to tell other humans. There are two ways to protect your planet. One is if you return and warn them to stay away. The other is if you never return at all. Which warning do you think will be more effective? Tell us how to get back to Earth. I beg you. If my people could return from space-time six where they have gone, they would rebuild the starport. They would make a crystal ship which would take you back to your planet. But they will never find their way back home. There's water everywhere in these islands. Waterfalls, pools, and the sea all around. We love the water, but now my people live in an eternal desert, neither drinking nor thirsting. If only they could thirst again, and then drink. If only they could dive into the sea, and hear the roaring of the waterfall. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is, that true death comes closer with each dying. All right, well, good talk, buddy. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly. But I'm also pretty damn good. Are you sure we want to leave? I'll bet he could give information about lots of topics. As I am for Brink, I can't help feeling a little angry at him. He's wacko, nuts, out of his mind with greed. He's not himself. It's those damn crystals. Thanks. Okay, so he hasn't returned. Or maybe he has? What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Brink. Brink, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead. Thanks for helping me save Maggie. You've already rewarded me by being a pushover, Commander. Why do I bother? Talking to you is a waste of time. Brink. Can I get information about what he's building or something? Brink, I have to tell you, you're exhibiting signs of advanced dementia. You're paranoid, violent, and manic. 
I know you're saying these things to try to gain power over me. And if you don't shut your mouth, I'll shut it for you. We're on the verge of opening a gateway in the fabric of reality. If it works, we think it might lead us home. Yes, you and Maggie can go home. Do you think I don't know you secretly plan to leave me behind and take credit for everything yourselves? Why do I bother? Talking to you is a waste of time. Hmm. We don't have time for recreational swimming, Boston. I thought there might be something I overlooked in that cave I swam to before. You thought it might be fun to see if I could swim that far underwater. Never mind. This is a library, then this must be where you search and retrieve data. Sing. I'm missing a plate still. Right? I haven't found the last plate. I'm missing a plate still. Presumably to get into this sealed door here. Doors, doors everywhere. I wonder which one is the pay toilet.
Look at it, Maggie. It shimmers, but it doesn't seem real. A kind of light that's just on the edge of existence. What does that mean? Something like this. You'd think they would have written about it somewhere. They've written about every other phenomenon here. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. Boston, it exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. Does it? I just twist this. Everything's so simple when you read the directions. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. This island was brought back from another dimension. Is this the last plate? What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. Give me that. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. I can leave he him. scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter. More dangerous. We're smart, too. Let's go. I do not wish to collect Brink. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe! Can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arch bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Hold tight! Very funny!
Isn't that here? You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here. Even if you have to cut off my hand. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. I'm going to cut off his hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it oh, off then! I've got something for you. Oh, I would, Brank. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! That won't work. Oh, I really wanted that to be it. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Yes. Brace yourself, Brink. I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine. Yeah, he's got a real Doom Guy vibe going on now. To the Triangle Matrix. Perfectly square head. All the metal plates. Furrowed brow. You think it's gonna take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brain? <clears throat> what if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. Sure glad I had that jawbone. That should do it. Do what? <coughs> What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. We are Zenialists. We believe in nothing. Fly us all home. The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Real oh, nice. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person.
No, but thank you. I think Kalon's just saying it would be easy to overlook it for a very long time. I saw something like this in the museum display. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now it's doing nothing. Cool, neat. It looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap. That doesn't fit here. Well, we tried. I can't use these two things together. Looks like a life crystal would fit perfectly in here. It's a row of crystalline devices. I don't know how to work these controls. I don't know what to do with this device. Sorry, Bird. You'll have to find a new home. Doesn't look safe to walk there. I can almost feel the surface. Cathedral. Looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap. Hmm. Robbins. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. What do we do? Search all these islands for a part when we don't even know what it looks like? Where are all those helpful hints now? 
The hints were about things they deliberately hid to keep them safe. But this missing part, what if it was stolen or just corroded away? Then all of this would be for nothing. Boston, somebody knows what the missing part does and maybe even where it is. Well, I don't know. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about somebody who was sealed in a crystal pyramid. Thanks. Well, I clearly have more dialogue options, so I need to share those dialogue options with people. Brink, maybe, or the... the guy down in the crypt. Ooh, could ask the giant spider. Wasn't much of a conversationalist, but... I think if you pay attention, you can really get a sense of what he wants to say. Hey, Doom guy. Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lowe, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you've robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Boston. Don't joke with him, Lowe. Alright, I don't think he's, uh, feeling talkative right now. It's the remains of a huge creek. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed that people could walk on light. Ah, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. If you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye, does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? 
the machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time, and where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... You think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the piece? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. I have said enough. Thank you for helping us. Okay, so he Help gave me something. by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. Word. You don't have the strength to return from that place. So he said, take this to the map. beach so that's where the part is assuming he gave us the right code
I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. Robbins. Never mind. Hey, Lucas showed up. Where have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. Right now! Come on, Brink. How many crystals can one man use? Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine. For science. Research. Give them to me! Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking! I'm not okay. going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history! You don't have to just hand them over, man. I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't share anything, Lowe. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he? It fits, but the machine still doesn't work. Did the alien lie to us? Or does the machine need something else? Yeah, what could it possibly need? What could it possibly need, Lo? What do you think it could be? That's what I thought. They're all gone. I mean, jelly beans could one man need. What are you doing here? I have no need for your help. Brink. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. Is this game some long-form, thinly-veiled criticism mistake. about addiction? And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. 
I didn't go back on it. I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing parts, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. I do plan to we cheat you. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. I will come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. We'll divide up the life crystals. And what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it? Get Good your read. missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. Half the life crystals, Brink. Remember? Two thirds. You don't scare me, you have 70 30. Monkey. I guess I'll take this with me. I can't use the... I'm sorry, this is such a long walk that I'm turning on high speed. know how yet to link them up. Remember our deal, Brink. I fix your machine, I get half the life crystals. But I divide them up. I remember very well. I just don't know how yet to link them up. It needs the part. It needs the part. It doesn't attach to the tusk. I can't use these two things together. I can't use these two things together. These do not seem to work together. I can't use these two things together. It won't do anything. I don't want to break it. I do want to break it. I don't want to break it. I just don't know how yet to link them up. There's like a special slot. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens design the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Hey, Jeff. Suits me fine. We'll split them 50-50, right? 70-30. 50-50. Look, there's one! And another! Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two! I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't gonna let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. 
You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. I have a feeling no. I'm about to get into an altercation. My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Mostly. Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Brink. Don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead! Brink! Ah. Ah. Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want uh. him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake? I'm getting a real homunculus vibe from this whole story. Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. right. This thing has already killed one of us. But it's back in place. The crystals Brink died for. machine. It doesn't look safe to walk there. Is that not it? I thought the... It doesn't look safe to walk there. I can almost feel the surface. Robins. What do you think of our situation now, Maggie? You want the truth, Boston? I thought I had faced reality when Brink died. But when that monster carried me off, I finally understood what it means to be in an alien place. Nothing here is going to go the way we expect it. There's no guarantee there even is a way home. We have had some help from the ghosts. Help? They have their own ideas of what they want us to do. They don't care whether we get home or not. But I do, and you do, so we're not giving up. Oh, I know. I'll keep on searching and trying to understand. Even if I die here, I'll at least know something about the place before I croak, right? I guess that's a comfort. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. It's the only way to find out what it does. Well, we've got the part. Thanks. So is the machine not turned on yet?
Is that the issue? Robbins. You're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. Probably. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? <clears throat> Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm gonna be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go! is restored. Worth it then. Go home. Maggie. I'm sorry, that was like... That was... For a character that I've supposedly been invested with for like eight hours at least, that is... The weakest death cutscene I've ever seen. I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. Can I, like, destroy the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> that
That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into space time six. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. <coughs> I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into space-time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. But we will have a life before we die. Every past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. bones, their lives again. We owe you a great debt, Commander Lowe. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! The fuck? I brought you a gift. Maggie. Frank. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie. I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Boston. You kept your word. Interesting, Cal. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, Lo. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. I'm just we a simple man. Back, can't we? I love country music and, and my dog. I love monster trucks, and I go to church on Sunday. Full of hope and passion. We have much to teach I love a burger, and, you have much and I cry well. when I hear the national anthem. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. Oh, I know that. All young species are alike that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, you'll mash them like bugs. How reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people, that's Maggie's job. 
And getting us home, that was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston, though. Take a walk through the Wet Pyramid. So that's, um... The Dig. You just got here, can I start over? Yeah, for sure, we'll take from the top. Is the other ending, like, particularly worth seeing? I don't have a convenient save, I don't think, but... Okay. Not worth a lot of effort. Got it. Well, she just chastised you for bringing her back? Is that what it is? She just... She just says, hey, what the fuck, man? She <laughs> says, what's wrong with you? And jumps off a cliff. Oh, that owns. That's actually really good. <laughs> oh, that's... That's sick. Uh, it's fine. Um... I don't, I don't, I'm not going to watch it on stream. But if you want to post it in chat for other people to see. You're welcome to. I thought it was very good. Um, kind of high concept in some places. And I think that the spots that walled me were worse than some, some, um some point-and-click games I've played, but I think, uh... I think it was ultimately very good. I don't think there are any are, are there okay are there any lucas arts point and clicks where you can enter a failure state i thought that was kind of characteristic of lucas arts games to not have failure states i mean drowning in monkey island hardly counts but okay Okay, yeah, sorry, the Indiana Jones one, that Indiana Jones game is just bad, though. Um, <laughs> no. 
No, not pairs of Grey Witch. I was thinking about maybe, uh... Just throw in a room code and play together for, um... Mario Party Superstars. If I can get it all hooked up. Just whatever people want to join in. <laughs> 